Hello, I'm ELH, and today I'm bringing you the fourth of ten quick overviews of each playbook currently available for the Avatar Legends tabletop role-playing system by Magpie Games. We're continuing with The Hammer, a fighter that solves problems by smashing them, even if it isn't the right solution. The Hammer playbook is perfect for those wishing to play a character that grapples with what Force can and cannot solve. Their approaches tend to boil down to punch it hard. They don't lack for a heart or desire to do good, but they do so with out of versatile toolset. The Hammer begins play with a creativity of plus one, a focus of minus one, a harmony of zero, and a passion of plus one. The Hammer's principles are force and care. Force covers the Hammer's desire to smash their way through problems and foes. A hammer with high force is very good at punching their way to victory. Care deals with the hammer's ability to understand and appreciate the need to avoid collateral damage, as well as giving others a chance to better themselves instead of being punched. The hammer's moment of balance requires finding an equilibrium by punching hard to protect something they care about. They put themselves directly in the path of an inescapable threat to completely protect someone or something from harm. The hammer's feature is bringing them down. This feature requires naming an adversary, someone that represents the things the hammer is trying to smash their way through. They are someone significant and powerful, as well as deserving of the force that the hammer brings. Once named, the hammer selects one of the following six goals for that adversary. Capture, discredit, depose, restrain, expose, or exile. When entering into a fight with their adversary, the hammer clears all fatigue and gains inspired on page 152. The hammer can also mark fatigue to roll with conditions instead of the normal stat when selecting a combat approach against their adversary. On the flip side, the hammer takes a minus one ongoing to plead, trick, or otherwise guide and comfort their adversary. The adversary can be changed each time the hammer marks a condition or at the end of each session. Doing so requires selecting a new goal and the GM shifting the hammer's balance twice. When the hammer accomplishes their goal, they take a growth and choose a new adversary. The hammer has access to the following moves. Fueled by Anger allows the hammer to mark angry to use an additional basic or mastered technique when advancing and attacking, even on a miss. The hammer also gains plus one ongoing to intimidate while angry is marked. Walls Can't Hold Me permits the hammer to roll with passion instead of focus when smashing through walls or other obstacles during a rely on your skills and training. Punch Where It Matters grants the hammer the ability to always ask who or what is most vulnerable to me when assessing a situation, even on a miss. Comprehend Your Foe allows the hammer to mark fatigue and roll with creativity instead of focus when defending and maneuvering against the foe they know the balance principle of. Finally, Stand and Fight lets the hammer roll with passion when goading an NPC opponent with the goal of getting the NPC to attack them. On a 7 to 9, the NPC is going for the hammer directly. On a 10 plus, the hammer is ready and either clears a condition or becomes prepared, page 153. On a miss, the target strikes a blow where the hammer least expects it. The hammer's advanced technique is Overwhelm. This advance and attack technique has the hammer throwing a punch with all of their weight behind it. The hammer marks three fatigue to inflict stunned, page 153, on an engaged foe. The hammer's growth question is, did you make progress towards your goal against your adversary? This keeps the hammer focused on their adversary and moving forward towards their goal. And that's the hammer in a nutshell. If you like this quick overview of the playbook, drop a like and a comment below. You'll also want to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified when the next playbook video releases. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see Avatar Legends in action, check out my Rise of the Dark Avatar game link below.